We continue to learn about cybersecurity with our lab, our PFSense lab at home and the free curator CE. Thanks to the work that uh, guys like Leopoldo Aguirre, also known as Polo, and Paul Ford Hutchinson, he goes by PFH, are providing us use cases uh, to learn and to work with. So in our quest for getting information about the URLs that our devices are going to, we noticed that we were not getting HTTPS requests, only HTTP, plain HTTP requests. And to fix that, we needed to enable SSL interception. In order to do that, in the PFSense, we need to go to the services proxy server and go here. And again, on a, on a separate video, we, we show you how you generate the certificate and all that. But basically, we need to enable these. Let me actually do that and wait a minute or two until the logs begin to get in which we expect to receive now logs that have TCP tunnel and those are the ones that go with SSL interception and we can see here that we begin to get those now the problem with SSL interception is that it breaks things and I made a separate video that shows all that so for in many cases you're gonna get some complaints at home and the, by the way the same thing can happen on the on the corporate environment and that's what it, this is good to learn all these things in your home lab. So you most likely will have to disable SSL interception. But I still want to get all those DNS logs. I want to see where my devices are actually going. How do we accomplish that? But also we want to get the DNS analyzer to work for us. And in order to do that, this document actually points out that you the property that it gets from the logs is called URL, URL custom, event property. And when we created the PFSense DSM that Carlos G gave us a big heads up with, one of the things that we didn't put in there, let me actually go there and show you. If we go to the DSM editor and look for PFSense, and we go to the event mappings that we did, Notice that in here there's no such a URL property. Notice that the event, the high level category is application and the low level category is DNS in progress. So, what we want to do is that if we go here and we add a filter in which, let's put here the category, the high level is application and the low level is DNS in progress. Oh, looking at the wrong place. Sorry. And let me clear the proxy filter. If we go back five minutes ago, notice that there's no URL. But if we look at any one of those events, the information is there. Here's the actual URL. So how can we enhance, augment our parser with that property? And we do that with a simple button here called Struct Property. All we need to do is for PFSense to have the benefit of that, we need to say, well, it's an existing property called URL. Here it is. Uh, And notice that it's automatically parsed for faster searches. And the regex, notice that it's the right, you know, high level and low level category for PSNs. And we are going to be putting this regex to extract that and making it bigger here in case that you want to take a note of it. And notice that it's matching very well our URL. So now if we go back to our logs, notice that for PFSense now, we are getting those URL. Job accomplished. 
and also that enables us to get the DNS analyzer working sorry let me go to the DNS analyzer app processing those URLs and being able to detect DGA tunneling and uh, squatting and you can even have some you know blacklist uh, domains as well and notice that if we go to on PSNs on services DNS resolver general settings notice that we have DNS over TLS okay we're not doing SSL interception anymore but we have DNS over TLS there's an option that you need to put in your configuration if you go to advanced option you need to put this here server column log queries yes and even though we are sending the request to our uh, DNS resolver outside which in, our, in my case I set it up for quad 9 over TLS the logs that unbound is sending to QRadar are in the clear because it's, it's doing all that sending those logs before it sends the, the DNS request out so we can enjoy the fact that now we can have this type of searches that allows us to see where every one of our devices is going from home